Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geomatics Engineering and in today's lecture we are going to learn about QGIS Vector Analysis Tool. So here are total 8 different tools are available in the analysis tool. So firstly we are going to start from the distance matrix tools that is available in this analysis tool. So what does this tool do? So this algorithm creates a table containing a distance matrix with distance between all the points in a point layer. So here we have two point shape files. One is having a home location and the another shape file is having different food shop locations. So using distance matrix tool we can know the aerial distance from each home location to each food shop location. So let's do this using this analysis tool. So vector analysis then go to distance matrix and before starting this distance matrix tool firstly let me show you the attribute table of these shape files. So in home location attribute table we have three home locations and which have a unique name home 1, home 2 and home 3. Same for the food shop. In its attribute table, there are total 7 number of food shops available having a unique name of food shop 1, food shop 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These unique names will be used in this distance matrix tools. So here we have to put an input point layer where we will use our home location because we want to know that the food shop's distance from home location. So input point layer as your home location and input unique ID field as a name where the unique name of each home location is available. And our target point layer is food shop location and target unique ID field is the name of each food shop. And here in output matrix type we will use the linear distance matrix and use only the nearest target point. Here you can describe a number for how many point locations you want to distance. So here I am writing it as 3. 3 nearest food shops distance from home location we want as an output. Now click on run. So in an output we will get an point shape file which has all the locations of food shops and home locations and when you open its attribute table you will get the nearest three food locations from each home location with its distance. So here another column of distance is added here like for home one if we label the names of each food shop and home locations name now we can see that for home location one the nearest shops are food shop one food shop three and food shop seven for home location two the nearest food shops that are available are food shop two food shop four and food shop seven and same for the home location 3, the nearest food shops that are available near home 3 is food shop 2, food shop 5 and food shop 7. And here the distance in meters is also available. So by using distance matrix tool you can know the nearest aerial distance from any location to any other location. Now let's talk about the another tools that are available in this analysis tool. So first one is the count point in polygon. So what does this tool do? So for count point in polygons I have a two shape files here. One is polygon and another is point. So this polygon shape file has multiple grids and this point shape file is intersecting over these polygons. So count point in polygons will provide a count number, count number of points for each polygon like how many points are intersecting within a polygon. So for that firstly you have to go on vector then click on analysis then click on count point in polygons. So use the input layer as a polygon layer which is the grid and in the point layer we will use the point shape file that is intersecting over these polygon layers. Now here is an another field that is weight field and class field. So I am leaving it as blank if you want to use weight field like weight field can be used to assign weights to each point and it will generate the sum of the weight field for each point contained in the polygon. So I am leaving it as blank and now the count field name you can I am writing it as count and now click on run. So it will give us a polygon shape file as an output. When you click on its attribute table information you can see there is another column added as a count value which is showing this in which grid how many points are intersecting. Like if we see these zero values there are no points intersecting. Like this polygon have zero count values. This yellow one have zero count values because there are no points are intersecting. And here for a polygon there is a 
10 points that are intersecting like this polygon there are 10 number of points that are intersecting in this polygon so this count point in polygon will provide you a count of point values that are intersecting within a polygon and now the next tool is in analysis tool is line intersection so what does this tool do so this algorithm creates point feature where the line in the intersect layer here in the intersect layer intersect the lines in the input layer so for this i have two line shape file here one is the input layer and another is the intersection line here few lines that are intersecting over this line shape file and for this we have to firstly go on vector then click on analysis then click on line intersection so where the intersected layer is intersecting with input layer we will get a point feature for that and now in input layer we have to select the line and in intersect layer we have to select this intersection line and now click on run and now we have get a point shape file as an output where the intersecting layer is intersected with the input line layer we get a point shape file for that you can use these tools for any line shape file which are intersecting with each other and now our next tool is the mean coordinates so what does this tool do so this algorithm computes a point layer with the center of mass of geometries in an input layer so for using this mean coordinate tool i have opened here a shape file and that is a polygon shape file having multiple grid so for knowing the mean coordinate of this polygon shape file we will use this mean coordinate tool so here i am using the input layer as a grid and if you, you will not use any unique id field it will give you output of a single point shape file which is showing the whole input shape files mean coordinate like if uh, here i am not using any unique id field and let's click on run and this will gives a point shape file as an output which is showing the mean coordinate of this input shape file and if we want the mean coordinate of each grid that is available in this shape file we have to select the unique id field for that we have to go on vector analysis and then click on mean coordinate the input layer is a this polygon shape file that is grid and the unique id field i am selecting here as id and now click on run so by selecting unique id we will get the multi point shape file as an output which is showing the mean coordinate of each polygon that is available in this polygon shape file and now our next tool is nearest neighborhood analysis so what does this tool do so this algorithm performs nearest neighborhood analysis for a point layer and this will give an output as an html file the html file shows you about the how the data is distributed is it clustered or randomly or distributed so it works for a point shape file so for using this tool here i have some point shape files and i have to do the nearest neighborhood analysis on these point shape files so for that i am going to vector analysis then click on nearest neighborhood analysis then use the input layer as a point shape file then click on run so in the result viewer you can see the output of this html file you can also view the html file by just clicking on this file path like when you click on this here the html files outputs is open and you can also visualize it from the result viewer when you click on this result of nearest neighbor then it will again open this html file which shows the information of these point shape file like what is the observed mean distance between these point shape file expected mean distance nearest neighborhood index the number of points and the z score value and now our next analysis tool is the sum line length so what does this tool do so this algorithm takes a polygon layer and a line layer layer and measures the total length of line and total number of then that cross each polygon so for this we have to use two input layer one as a polygon layer another is a line layer that is intersecting over the polygon layer so for this here i have two shape file as an input layer one is the polygon layer and another is the line layer that is intersecting over these polygon layers so for using the sum line length you have to firstly go on vector then click on analysis tool then click on sum line length and use the input layer of the polygon shape file in this polygons and the line shape file in this line section so in the output we will get an two additional attribute that containing the length and count of the line that across each polygon so the length field name is here as length and the line 
count field name here as a count. So let's click on run and it will give the output as a polygon shape file where the two attributes are added here the length and the count. Length is showing that the each polygon is intersecting with how much length of the line and the count is showing the number of lines that are intersecting with that polygon layer. And now the next tool is basic statistics of field. So what does this tool do? So this algorithm generates basic statistics from the analysis of a values in a field in the attribute table of a vector layer. So these statistics returns will depend on field type and these statistics are generated as an HTML file. For this we have to use any point line or polygon shape file as an input layer. So here I am using this grid shape file as an input layer. So for this we have to firstly go on vector then click on analysis tool then click on basic statistics of field. In input layer we have to select this grid and field to calculate statistics. Here you have to select that field for which you want to the calculate statistics. So here I am using this field as an ID. If you have some other fields like area or length of a line or any other fields like name, unique name of these shape files. So you can select that field in this field to calculate statistics on section. Now click on run. So it will give you an output as an HTML file. Here we will get the statistics in this result viewer. Now click on this statistics and it will show you the all statistics for that field that you have selected in that field section. So the analyzed field was ID, total count number of polygons were 576, unique values 576, null value 0, minimum value is 1, the maximum value is 576, range is 575, sum of total IDs is 166176, the mean value is 288.5, the median value is again 288.5 and like this we have get some another statistics like standard deviation, coefficient of variation, minority, majority, first quartile, third quartile and interquartile range. So using this basic statistics for field, you can get the basic statistics of any shape file. And now the next tool is list unique values. So what does this tool do? So this algorithm generates a report with information about the unique values found in the given attribute of a vector layer. So for this here I have an input shape file which has multiple attributes like object ID, path, FID, district, tehsil, village and HB number. So I want to know that how many unique villages are there in this shape file. So for that we have to click on vector then click on analysis tool then click on list unique values. So here I am using the input layer as the shape file that I have opened in QGIS and our target field is this village name and now click on run. So again we will get an HTML report and when we will click on this HTML report we will get all the names of the villages that are unique. So here the total unique values are 25 and in our original shape file there were total 30 polygons are available there from that only 25 villages are unique. So that's all about this vector analysis tool where I have described about all these 8 layers of this analysis tool. So I hope you all understand this analysis tool of QGIS and if you are liking this advanced QGIS series so let me know in the comment section and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.